Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at troubleshooting small gas engines. Now, these engines can power a quad ATV, a snowmobile, or a motorcycle, or some small engines that power farm machinery. Now, I have a very simple schematic of an ignition system. So you can see at the very left, we have a camshaft that's rotating and has a magnet attached to the camshaft. And as the magnet goes by this VR pickup, we're going to get a pulse into the ignition module. Now, VR is, is variable reluctance. Basically, it's a coil wrapped around an iron core. And so as the magnet goes by the pickup, we're going to get a pulse into the ignition module, which is going to trigger the coil, and we're getting a spark on the spark plug. So every time the magnet passes by the pickup, we're going to get a spark on the spark plug. Now, some VR pickups have the magnet built inside, and just has a tooth that's uh, coming by it. But in this case, we're going to look at the type that have a magnet on the camshaft, and as it goes by the pickup, we're going to get a spark on the spark plug. Now the VR pickup only has two wires as opposed to a Hall Effect pickup which has three wires because it has to be powered. So check your service manual and look in your engine you can find the pickup. You'll find a pickup with two wires coming out of it and you'll have a connector. You can pull apart the connector and check that it only has two wires because in this video we're going to only talk about VR pickups as opposed to Hall Effect pickups. Okay we have a no start condition on our engine we crank it or try to kick it over, it does not start. We have fuel, we verified that. We have compression of the cylinder and we have air. Our air cleaners are clean. So we check our spark plug because sometimes they could short and we put a new spark plug in and we check the spark plug wire to the coil. We could ohmmeter that and they're about 5 to 10 k ohms because they're uh, resistive wires. So that checks out. So next we, we, uh, we check for spark on the spark plug. Okay, next, we're going to check for a spark on our spark plug. So pull out the spark plug from the cylinder head, connect it up to the coil wire, and turn on the ignition so we have power to the ignition module, and ground the threaded part, or this part here, to the ground of the engine, which would be this aluminum plate, and you could hold it there. Now crank the engine and check for a spark. Now if you're trying to do this on a motorcycle, it's kind of hard to hold it down and kick over a motorcycle, so I built this little jumper. So one end of the jumper could go to the cooling fin, on the cylinder head, so that could be a good ground, so we can put that on. And then the other end goes onto the spark plug threads, like this. So now we don't have to hold it. So now we crank the engine and we look for a spark. Now if we don't get a spark, the next, next test will be our coil. So we could pull the coil out. And I have a video on a coil tester that I built. So we could test the coil now with my coil tester. Okay, here's the ignition coil that I want to test. Now coils come in all shapes and sizes, but they have a similarity that they have three terminals. Now these two terminals here is your primary winding, and then we have the output, which are high voltage, that's our secondary winding. So one of them is usually marked plus, so I put my red wire onto the plus and black wire onto the other terminal. And then we could power it up at 12 volts. Now we need a power supply that can handle about 10 amps, or, or a battery that could output about 10 amps. Now we could use a spark gap on the end of the of the high voltage cable or a spark plug but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it close by the ground which is the aluminum plate now when I power it up you'll see a spark jump you see a spark jumping, now if I take a screwdriver and adjust the frequency let's see it gets, there's our, there's our 6000 and I'll take it back down to 600 Okay, the coil seems to be okay. It checks out with my coil tester. So the problem is either the ignition module or the VR pickup. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a variable reluctance pulse generator. So we could disconnect the pickup from the ignition module and we could inject pulses directly into the ignition module to see if we get spark on our spark plug. And if we do, we know the ignition module is okay and we have a problem with the pickup. So we're going to build a variable reluctance pulse generator using an HEI distributor. Now these distributors were in small block and, sh and big block Chevys from about 1974 to 1986. So we're going to take one of those, we're going to gut it, and we're going to build ourselves a little piece of test equipment to test out the ignition module. Okay, here's an HEI distributor from a small block or big block Chevy. And you get them from an auto wrecker or off Craigslist. So you take off the cap. Now the cap has a coil in it, so you take off the cap and you can discard that. And inside the HEI 
distributor, there's an electronic module right here. You take that out and you disconnect this connector. Now this connector has two wires right here. That's going to be your output. That's going to output the variable reluctance pulses when we turn this gear. Now the gear on the bottom, we spin it and that will spin the timer core which is in the middle and that will give us some pulses coming out of these two wires and we can use that to troubleshoot the ignition module. Okay, here's my variable reluctance pulse generator which I built from an HEI distributor. So I took off the cap which had the coil in it, and discarded that, I took out the electronic module and you can see the pickup coil, there's two wires, I extended it with these wires and on the end I have a terminal block and I have a test LED. So now when I spin this gear it's going to generate some pulses so I can test my ignition module. Okay, here's a close-up of my gear and here's my test LED on the end of the wire. So when I'm turning it, you can see I'm getting pulses. So these are variable reluctance pulses and you can see the signature on the scope. Okay, this circuitry here simulates an ignition module. And I have my variable reluctance pulse generator right here connected to my terminal strip and that's connected up into the input of the ignition module. So now when I spin the gear on, on my uh, pulse generator I should get spark on my spark plug. Okay I'll spin the gear and you can see it in the shot and you can see when I'm spinning the gear I'm getting a spark on my spark plug. Okay I have my spark plug cable close to the ground plate to create a spark gap you can see it probably a little bit better. Now when I, when I turn the gear and create some pulses, you can see I'm getting a spark. So that saves me from cranking the engine and from kicking, kicking over the engine. I don't have to turn over the engine. I could do everything now just by turning this gear to test out my ignition module and it's working okay. Okay, so that's how you make a variable reluctance pulse generator out of an HEI distributor. So if you have one kicking around, you can make it useful again and you can use it to check out and test ignition modules.